Welcome back. Through this video, we'll discuss on gaining access. So basically, gaining access is the phase where an ethical hacker or a real attacker obtains control over the target. Gaining access will not be just as easy, but uh, all the times it might not be easy, but sometimes it might be easy. So with a map of uh, all possible uh, vulnerabilities and uh, entry points, so the penetration tester or a real attacker begins to test the exploits find within the network or application or the data or the servers. And the goal of the ethical hacker is to see exactly how far they can uh, get into the environment, identify high value targets and avoid any deductions. And if you establish a scope initially, then the penetration tester will only go as far as the determined by the uh, guidelines you agreed upon during the initial scoping. But a real attacker, maybe he can do whatever he want. So now we'll uh, uh, get into the practical demonstration. So uh, in the previous video, we just uh, um, uh, saw how to uh, perform the vulnerability scanning. So through the vulnerability scanning, we found some critical vulnerabilities. So for which the ex exploits are available. So now uh, with this demonstration, we will see how to uh, exploit the vulnerability on the targets. So <clears throat> currently we are in the Kali mission. So in the previous uh, video, we just uh, saw some critical vulnerabilities in few missions. For this demonstration, uh, I'm going to start with the Windows XP machine. So basically uh, Windows XP machine, since this, it is an older version, it will have the uh, more, it, it has the more critical vulnerability. So easily it can be exploited. So if there is a vulnerability in a target, so using the vulnerability, uh, exploiting the target is going to be a little bit uh, easier. But uh, when comparing to the Windows 10 computer, uh, the Windows 10 computer already I have patched up up to date. So uh, it might not have any vulnerability uh, within the operating system or the application. So for the Windows 10 operating system, we, we need to go with a different approach. But for the uh, uh, machines which has the vulnerability within the operating system itself. So for those machines uh, breaking or uh, uh, getting into the uh, gaining access to the target is going to be much easier. And here I, I'm, I'm seeing a vulnerability uh, which has the, uh, um, the host affected by a remote code execution vulnerability uh, in the server service due to the uh, improper handling of RPC requests and unauthenticated uh, or a remote attacker can exploit this. So I, I'm, I'm more interested with this vulnerability. So I want to exploit this vulnerability. And also uh, under the vulnerability information, I, I'm seeing that uh, uh, so for this exploit is available and this can be exploited using the meta exploit. So uh, in Metasploit, there is an exploit with this code. So using which I can easily uh, um, gain access to the target. So I'm just noting down this exploit. And uh, now let me uh, proceed with the further uh, uh, gaining access. For gaining access, uh, there are many methods out there and many tools out there. Out of that here, I'm going to use a very famous tool, uh, which is called a Metasploitable Frameworks. So Metasploitable Frameworks is a very famous uh, uh, tool used by the penetration testers or uh, even a real, a real attackers. So in Kali operating system, this uh, Metasploitable Frameworks will be an uh, inbuilt tool. So using which uh, we can perform the gaining access. So uh, let me start with the demonstration. So to start the Metasploitable Frameworks, you can use the command MSF console, then press enter. So it will take a while to uh, load the Metasploit uh, console module. So uh, this uh, MSF uh, module is a, a free module. Even uh, it, it also has the professional edition also. So using the free version, you can exploit only the known vulnerabilities. And uh, also if you have a professional edition, you can have, you can do more. 
than the free edition even with the free edition itself you can uh, uh, do a lot and now uh, you can see the we are, we are into the msf console and uh, first of all uh, uh, from the uh, vulnerability scanning we found a uh, uh, um, vulnerability and also uh, where we found that uh, there is a uh, exploit available in metasploit so first uh, let us search whether uh, we have the exploit so already we have copied the exploit name and i'm searching with that so here i can see the exploit for the vulnerability so using this exploit we'll try to gain access uh, to the machine so for which you can type use i'm going to use this exploit and uh, for this using for using this exploit a few parameters uh, need to be configured so to verify that i can um, see the options so for that type show options and here you can see the current settings our host has to, has to be set which is not set our port is already set and uh, smb pipe is also set and uh, we need to configure the our host so to configuring our host type set our host followed by the our host ip so the our host is the target ip the target ip is 10.10.6 10.10.10.6 10 so which is my target and now once again we can make sure whether the optional configurations are set yeah the configurations are set so now we can exploit this so after pressing exploit and then enter and here you can see it is starting the reverse TCP handler and also here we can see metaprotest session one is open so which means that this 10.6 is connecting back to this particular host so this 10.10.7 is nothing but uh, ip errors of my kali machine and here uh, we can see the ip address 10.10.7 .10 is my ip and now we gain the access to the target okay how can we verify that and how what are all the commands that i can use here so for which you can type help so where you can see all the commands which you can use on the target so you will get a bunch of commands that is the core commands so these are all the core commands you can see the process you can kill the process and uh, you can get the GUID informations and uh, all the regular file system commands you can use cat cd cp dar all the commands and also the network commands also you can use af config or ip config netstat all these things you can see and also you can use the system commands you can get the environment information you can get the pid informations you can get the sid informations and also from here you can reboot the system you can shut down the system <clears throat> and also you have user interface commands so you can get the uh, desktop you can get the current metaprotect desktop or you can uh, uh, send a keyboard symbol from here you can uh, send the keyboard strokes to the uh, target and even you can also dump the key scan so you can uh, you can start the key scan so whatever the uh, victim is typing in his keyboard so everything can be captured here and also you can get the screenshot of the machine you can set the desktop from here and uh, even if it is a laptop with mic or a webcam you can record the mic you can ch webcam chat or we can snap the webcam or you can stream the webcam and also you can uh, elevate the permissions that is privilege escalations and also you can um, get the password database through hash term command so many more things can be done so first initially i want to just show you the screenshot command
So this screenshot command will take the uh, screenshot of the target machine and the uh, file is stored in this location. I can go to the file explorer where I can see the file and currently you can see it is under the root downloads and here you can see so so currently the machine is in uh, <clears throat> sleep mode so let me change some actions okay so now the screen is should be available I'm into the wrong machine now I'm into the correct machine so once again let me take the screenshot again we can verify here and this is the page so this is how you can manage few things and also uh, you can um, uh, see the a list of files uh, just uh, if you want to check in which uh, path you are connected with you can type pwd that is present working directory and we are connected to uh, c windows system 32 maybe if you want to see what are all the uh, files available in c drive so you can type cd dot dot again cd dot dot so because we are uh, two folders inside so i'm back and currently once again let me type pwd and currently we are in the c colon let us check what are all the files available inside this folder type ls or dir and these are all the files and folders available so auto exe dot bat comma data yeah this is interesting I, i'm able to see a folder named comma data i want to see what is there inside this folder so cd comma data ls and yeah it is more interesting it has a text file named uh, accounts.txt if i want to uh, read what information is available inside that particular file so again i can type uh, uh, type accounts okay type command is not working over here okay no issues so if i want to get into the direct command prompt of the target so we can use the option shell so this command will straight away take you into the command prompt so from here you can use the type command so type accounts dot txt and here it has the information this file has more confidential information so this is the text which is saved inside that particular file and uh, if you want to come back from to the metaprotest session just type exit so you'll be back to the metaprotest session and even if you want to download the particular file uh, to your local machine so even you can use the option download so I want to download the accounts, I'm sorry. I want to download the accounts file. And here we can see the file is downloaded and it is downloaded in this location. And this is the message I'm able to see from this particular file even if you have any file in your local machine that files cannot can also be uploaded so usually the uh, 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 real attackers uh, dangerous attackers what they may do is they may have some malicious code uh, with them so they can upload these codes uh, to the at a victim's machine so the this kind of uh, 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 vulnerable codes or malicious codes might be running on the victim's machine or uh, uh, way that even the attacker the victim might not be even aware about that so uh, first let me create a text file from here hi you are hacked I'm just uh, saving this file somewhere 
maybe I, I, I may save this under downloads because already we are into the downloads location. Let me give the name. I'm sorry, it has to be typed here hacked.txt. So currently I have a file in my local machine that is in the Kali machine. I want to upload this file to the victims machine. So for which I can use the command upload followed by the file name, then press enter. And here you can see the file is uploaded. You can also verify. And here we can see the text file has been uploaded. Even from the XP machine also we can verify this. So here I can see the text file. So basically, if uh, there is a existing vulnerability, so using the existing vulnerability, so we can uh, gain access to the uh, target a little bit easier. But uh, uh, if the target doesn't have vulnerability, uh, speaking about our Windows 10 computer, it doesn't have a more serious vulnerability. So gaining access to the uh, Windows 10 is not going to be uh, just like a cakewalk as like we did with the uh, Windows XP machine. So uh, I'll show you the demonstration on how to gain access to the uh, target machines which doesn't have a uh, vulnerability within it. So basically if your uh, target doesn't have the vulnerability you need to create the vulnerability. So by creating the vulnerability so we can gain access to those kind of uh, targets. And that's all for this demonstration. So in the next video we'll see how to gain access to a Windows 10 computer which doesn't have the vulnerability within the OS itself.